Hello, hello, welcome back. On today's episode of Living Life in the Miserable Frozen Winter Tundra. My uh, clock on my car is not accurate, but it says it's five degrees outside. That's just what I've been dealing with this week. So I thought today we would do a winter morning barn routine since we're fully into the frozen icy winter that we're going to apparently have this year and we're going down to the indoor every day. I thought I'd walk you guys through that routine and just how things are going. So let's get to it. I made sure to put my gloves on the heater so hopefully they are semi-warm since it's so cold out. Yesterday I just like didn't have the energy and strength to exist. I hate winter. I think I should move back to Florida. <laughs> on days like today I really question why I live here. So naturally, first things first, if you followed the vlog at all, you know I'm gonna do hay first. Make sure all those poor ponies out in the single digits uh, get to munching. So I'm gonna go do that first. Can't even see out the windows. She and Star are both on a treatment of ulcer guard right now, so they are not going to get hay just yet. Do you see how cold it is? Rex agrees it's not a good sign if we can see our breath. Hopefully my GoPro will stay alive long enough today. I struggled with it the other day in the cold because the battery does not do well in the cold. It's like drains rapidly. I mean, it goes for everything. It's not just that. I've been buying Doppler fresh alfalfa to have inside the barn during the day. So that's what this is. He seems to like it. I think it's helped with his weight. You know, his weight looks so good. I think that's one of the things that's been helping. I will bring him in for that alfalfa soon, but I let him munch some hay with his friends outside first. I went to the gym yesterday after work and as I peeled off all of these layers to put workout clothes on, hay just fell <laughs> everywhere and I was so embarrassed because I made a giant mess and it clearly was me and all the people were just like staring at me as like there was dirt and hay all over the floor and I was like, what do you want me to do? I can't take the clothes off outside, so here we are. <laughs> Anyways, so everyone has hay. Again, this is normal for me. No matter the time of the year, hay goes first. Um, I'm gonna go give those two horses that are on ulcer guard, ulcer guard. And then, um, everyone has usually had hay for at least 15 minutes before I feed grain, but I come in and I soak the grain. Everyone is getting soupy, warm mashes this time of the year, which again, if you've been with me for a while, you are used to that. Since Richie is new to us and he is off the track, he has been on a month of ulcer guard. So I give that and wait at least 30 minutes, ideally an hour. Hey buddy. Hi. Oh, you got ice crispies on. I don't know if you can see anything. I'm gonna try to do this with two hands. Good you know, these off the track thoroughbreds just go straight into this rough program with a lot of stress and anxiety and 
we just always, I mean, not even just off the track thoroughbreds. I feel like most new horses that come in, we treat for ulcers. Just the stress of life changes. If anything, it's just a preventative measure if they don't have ulcers. So either way, I'm gonna go give Star her ulcer guard and then I will soak green. You know it's cold when your coffee doesn't even stay warm in a thermos. I mean, I clearly need to upgrade my thermos game, but cold coffee it is today. If you are a regular subscriber and you guys have been following along, you know that my coach and I are kind of nutrition nerds. <laughs> um, so for Rex and Flower, we've been using um, this Kentucky Equine Research product, Nano E. It's um, a more bioavailable form of vitamin E. And I feel like I've noticed a real difference um, in Rex's top line while using this source of vitamin E rather than um, we've tried to elevate before. If you actually break it down, you'd have to feed a lot of scoops of elevate um, in order for them to get the amount of vitamin E that they need. So anyways, just a fun fact, if you're into supplements and um, nutrition stuff, uh, this, I don't know what the price range is, but um, I know I had always heard about vitamin E um, and especially for horses up here that aren't getting grass. All that to say <clears throat> that um, it seems like this stuff really works and um, make sure if you're using a supplement like Elevate um, you do your research because just giving a scoop of that day in my personal opinion <laughs> is kind of just wasting your money because you'd be, you should be giving so much of um, some of those supplements in order for them to be getting the actual intake of that vitamin E that they need. So just something I learned recently. Also, you guys know I'm a little bit of a nut about ulcer stuff, gut stuff, things like that. And one of my clients is trying this product called Gut X. And um, as you guys know, I am a big believer in the Haggard Pharmacy Reline. A GI product and this is probably the cheaper comparative similar ingredients different dosing kind of thing and um, just from my personal experience in seeing horses on both I think that the Haggard Pharmacy Reline is worth the extremely high expense um, it just really seems to work the horses seem happier um, their guts seem happier. I don't feel I've noticed the same. I think the gut X works, but I don't think it works for every horse, if that makes sense. Um, I think the client's horse that's on it seems like she's doing well, um, but she's also been on ulcer guard at the same time. So I think the next month after ulcer guard will be the true um, the true example, but just my thoughts. Uh, I tried giving it to Doppler and he wouldn't eat it. The gut X, he eats the reline. And, um, I've just heard that. I've read some things that, um, not every horse will eat it and blah, blah, blah. So if you have questions about that, feel free to comment or message me about it. I like to talk about nerdy gut um, supplement stuff, all that jazz. Anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> it's time to feed horses now that I've talked for like a million minutes. My winter routine, I have all the horses that are on overnight turnout, their stalls prepped before. So if you see, 
They are mocked. If I have time, they have hay, and they're ready to go. So Rex comes in, his stall's all clean. I have to tack Nugget up for a early morning indoor ride this morning, so I only gave him a little bit of his breakfast. On days that it's this cold, I um, typically would say I do not ride unless it's over like 20 degrees out. So, hi buddy, it's okay, I know. Um, so, I'm not riding in the indoor this morning. I'm gonna probably lunge Doppler in the Pessoa this afternoon because it's supposed to get up to almost 30. So, I think with how old he is and his joints, That'll just be better for him. I also worry about their lungs in this cold, so we don't do any really hard work when it's this cold. Okay, so everyone is eating some food, and I'm going to tack this client's horse for her morning ride in the indoor. On certain days, our indoor hours are from eight to nine, weekends and during the week it's nine to 10. So I have to kind of like pause my morning routine. I'm gonna tack this horse up and then I will finish my morning chores. <laughs> okay, so Nugget's ready for his owner when she gets here. I just have a couple stalls to muck because I re-muck and prep in the evening. And then, <laughs> with the frigid cold, that's kind of the morning chores right now, other than like making grain and stuff. Well, the sun is warm because the windows are thawing out already. Now that my GoPro had a few minutes to charge while everyone was eating, it's time to turn horses out. I just make sure that all the horses have hay pretty much 24 7 and then everybody does fine hay is used to uh, keep their bodies warm best thing you can do for them uh, in this cold weather is keep them eating forage Okay, now that all the horses are settled, I'm going to uh, sweep and muck, and then uh, that kind of wraps up the morning stuff. Like I said, usually we uh, take the horse down to the indoor, but it's a little chilly this morning, so we'll probably have to work them in the afternoon today. Um, I'm gonna sweep and uh, muck a couple stalls, and then that's a wrap. Thank you. 
That's pretty much it for today, guys. And uh, so I'll see you guys next time. 